So now we have all of the cables paired through the cable chains. You can see that we got the Z axis up there. Everything comes down and around. Z axis goes through there, and then X and Y join in. Go through that and on the back. You can see a little bit better in back here. We've got the Y axis over there. Runs down into the chain. The X axis is the one that runs across. It does not go all the way through this upper chain. So instead of having it poke out of the bottom, I didn't know what that would do. I just zip tied it to the bottom of the chain. It goes about halfway across. This is where the chain stops bending at the limit of the Y travel. So it should have a stable base. And now I'm going to just wiggle all of the axes so I can see that it moves and that I didn't damage any of the cables. So we're going to do first X. X is looking good. Again, I don't know much room for where this is mounted. But for that, it works well enough to see. Now we move Y around. And then we'll move Z up and down. So, we're in good shape. My next step is limit switches, and then I also need to finish the case for the controller and the power supply.